What's up, people? So you were installing Media Center and you got the download failure error message. And you can't get your guide listings. And uh, so therefore you can't record. This is what your guide ended up looking like. And of course you would rather it look like this with your listing so you can record. So let's get right into it. First thing is to go to the link in the description and go to that website and that is the MSN TV guide listings you enter your zip code here and find your provider now if you can find your zip code and provider here then it is also available in media center and that is not the problem is not with your zip code. The reason that this problem happens is your guide listings used to come from a company called zap to it and now they've recently changed to a company called Rovi. Uh, go to the start menu and type in command CMD, right click and run as administrator. Open this window and leave it. Next thing is to navigate your way through your C drive. This can be done by navigating to the start menu and over to the computer tab and then to the C drive. Then to your Windows folder, then to your System32 folder, then to your driver folder, drivers, and then it should say host here. Now if you don't see these folders, don't panic. Uh, you have to get hidden folders to appear. So uh, on any folder, click organize folder and search options and uh, click view and show hidden folders and files uh, you're gonna want to click apply and then okay I've already done it so the apply button wasn't there for me but uh, that's why mine was showing so now back in the drivers back into etc and uh, there is the host file okay so we don't go into it from there what we have to do is uh, go to the start menu uh, go to all programs, accessories, uh, the notepad, and a right click on the notepad and run as administrator. You are the boss. Okay, and then go to file and navigate to open. And now on your computer, you're going to want to navigate back to this host file. So you're going to want to go to C. Windows System 32 Drivers Etc. Okay, oh no, it's not showing. Oh no, what to do? Go down here, all files, show all files. Now you can click on that file and open it. Okay. This, these two lines in the bottom are probably not, well, they're definitely not on yours. But these are the two lines you have to paste in. I've already done it because I know it's a fix and I know it works. But uh, during the course of making this video, I actually reset mine. So these two lines are available in the description below. And you're going to paste those into that file and save. You can go ahead and close out of that. Now, back to your command prompt, which is running an administrator. You're going to type in ipconfig slash flush DNS. I put that in the description as well, uh, that instruction, just in case uh, it's got to be perfectly lettered and everything. So, just for reference purposes, in the description as well. Uh, you're going to hit flush, you're going to hit uh, enter. I didn't do it because I didn't want to do mine again. You hit it and it, it confirms that it's been flushed. And your next step is to go to start menu and go to type in task schedule.msc. And then you'll pull up your task scheduler. You're going to open that. And in the left pane, navigate the library to the Microsoft to Windows. To Media Center. Now in Media Center, you're gonna expand that so you can read the names. You're gonna go to Object Store Recovery. 
and yours probably says it's never been run. You're gonna run that, and you're gonna run that for one or two minutes, okay? Do a little jump cut, and then you go ahead and end it. Once you end it, uh, and do you want to end the task? Yes, uh, yes, and then you can close out of there. You're done in there. On to the next step. Start menu, you're going to want to shut down, not restart, shut down and start the computer once it's off. I'm going to jump ahead uh, after my restart, I open up and you get this message, Windows Media Center is corrected a problem and the recording data will blah blah blah. So go to tasks, go to settings, go to TV and set up TV guy signal. So yes, I want to set up my TV signal. All right, now United States, yes for me. Uh, enter your zip code. Covered mine because you don't need to know where I live. Uh, agree with the terms of service, and download your TV setup data and your guide data. I have this will take a while. I have shortened it considerably with a jump cut. And wait for that to finish. It does take some time. Cut ahead. And uh, so we show that you have one analog tuner. Yes. Click next. And then you have a list of your available cable providers. And I've just blacked out the location. Uh, yours will have different listings. Uh, then it confirms that that's the one you want. And you hit next to confirm that yes, that's your cable company. Oh, yeah. And you set it up with that, and you click yes and uh, finish. And now go to your guide, and you can see you now have listings. I I just blacked out my uh, call tags for my local providers there, but you will have call signs there. Problem solved, and you are welcome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Click videos below and subscribe. Thank you. Whatever 33 out.